Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's Michelle with VinVaughnAlley.com and I'm doing, <clears throat> excuse me, um, a bit of a, a different video today. There's no scripture involved, but I wanted to create something a little interesting in my Rolodex. And I know you're saying, but this is not your Rolodex. I know. This is actually a scoreboard that I received from scrapbook.com and Actually, this was free. If you are not signed up with scrapbook.com, get an account and also uh, sign up for VIP text because it was a VIP text that I received that said, uh, receive this free school um, scoring board with your purchase. And I just happened to, um, you know, have a need to, of getting something from scrapbook.com. So I was like, Hey, I can get, I can buy what I need and get a free scoreboard. Why not? So I got it free and the front, which you don't see is just a, just straight lines for scoring. But the plus is that the back of this scoring board also has uh, a way that you can score lines to create an envelope. I was like, oh my gosh, double deal here. And it's a, we are memory keeper. Um, keepers product. So if you are familiar with the We Are Memory Keepers product, you know that their items always has a dual or multi-purpose to it. So this was a dual purpose um, board. So you can make envelopes and you can also score um, your, your, your projects. And if you're not familiar with scoring, scoring is basically creating a groove line where you can bend your, your paper easily and that's what I'm doing here for the envelope. And it was, I used it when I initially got it and I completely forgot how to use it. So <laughs> I have my paper to the top of the board, but no, you're supposed to line your paper from the bottom up. So I was, you're supposed to line your paper, bringing it up to the line and the measurements are there on the right side where it says envelopes. And it tells you what size to cut your paper depending on what size envelope you're looking for. So as you can see here, it's a little bit big, but I'm going to fix it and I'm going to trim it down just a little bit. I put thumbs up, but trust me off camera, I had to do a little more trimming because <clears throat> it still was not the size that I needed it. And truth be told that I filmed this twice because the first time I just completely was off. I was looking wrong and I was like, oh my gosh, this envelope is going to be huge. So with that said, you should realize by now that I'm making an envelope to put on my Rolodex. Yes. So I thought it would be cute to include a, uh, an, an envelope that I can slip prayers into, into the Rolodex. So. That was my bright idea. So we're going to see how this pans out. <laughs> you can see me doing some little trimming and stuff. I'm like, oh my God, this thing is looking so janky. But <laughs> I, I try my best and it works out in the end. But um, I, I, I'm sure I'll get better at using this, this board. User error, not the board at all, just user error. So you see me measuring it here again, like I said, off camera. I fix it up a bit because you can see that it's a little bit smaller here. So I think I've got it now where I can get it glued down. So I'm taking my tape runner and I'm gluing down the um, two sides together and then the bottom. And we've got an envelope, finally. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was quite interesting. I was, I was a little mind boggled over here. Excuse the, the, um, messed up nails. I can't keep nail polish on for anything, but anyway, so I'm just making sure that everything is, you know, nice and flat because here comes the fun part. We're going to decorate it. <clears throat> now this that I'm showing you here is 
um, I forget what they call it. Um, I got it from the Dollar Tree. And as you can see, it's um, in strips and it has a scalloped edge to it, which I love. So I'm just taking it and I'm wrapping it around the bottom. And I love that it has this scalloped edge. And then I'm going to put it in a couple um, more areas on the card just to give it some interest. So I said, let me just take the scallop to the top on that side as well, but not too far down. So I bring it up where I can cut it to the side and then at the top of the envelope a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit off camera. I'm like bringing it up to my nose instead of keeping it in frame. Horrible, but um, I'm trying to figure out how to get a piece of that on the envelope on the other side because of course, I don't want the flap to be all white where the bottom has color. So I do figure it out, but it's like, okay, Michelle, just first cut off that one side. So I said, you know what? Let me just fold it over. And I was like, okay, we've, we've got some of the color on it. So I just cut off the excess on the side of the flap. And then I just take a little bit more just to bring it down to the flap on that side, which you'll see me doing. And I get it to work eventually. So then I just trim off some more pieces and I get that color on the flap because it's going to, with the Rolodex, you're going to have two sides showing. So I wanted to make sure that both sides were equally decorated. And this was the best way for me to work it out. And I love how it turned out. I really love this scalloped edge. I forget the name. Actually, I am not far from it <clears throat> I will tell you the name of this that I use so it's called poster stickers peel and stick poster stickers and this particular one that I'm using has six strips so it's like a, a, a border that you can you can use on the wall and it's it, I believe it's repositionable I think goes no it's not repositional I take that back it says goes on and stays on but it says it removes cleanly. I don't know what that means if it goes on and stays on, but I, I, I do believe it's something that you can use like on the walls. But um, I just thought that it was so pretty and I bought, and I'm so glad that it's in strips so I have a, a lot more to use. So back to the screen, I am putting down the this Prey script from my American Crafts Faith book. And then I'm putting Sister Praise because, of course, she is postured in prayer. And I made a smaller die cut for myself so that I can use her in projects like this. And then I have some um, kind of, I don't know what to call them, but these little florals that I have. They were um, PNG images that I, I purchased. Um, clip art, sorry, not PNG. Clip art images that I purchased. So I have these different color florals and I want to incorporate them into the the layout as well and I, I didn't want to be too matchy matchy so I'm trying to put the colors <clears throat> excuse me I'm trying to put the colors um just opposite to what's um you know closest to it from the design that's already laid down by the scallop sticker so I was like, yellow? No, there's enough yellow up there. So I, I go with the, um, the pink. And first I wanted to put it to the front, but I said, you know what? I want something on the envelope. So I do put this pink flower on the envelope and then I kind of flap it over a little bit because I didn't want to waste the, the sticker. And it worked out. It just looks cute the way that I have it there. And we're just almost done with this because all I'm going to do is take a sm smaller version from the mini sticker with Sister Praise and put her there to hold down the flap. And that is it. Just a cute, easy, quick project. I can slip some prayers in there and it just came out beautiful. Well, guys, if you like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know what you think about this. If you have a faith dex that you're working on, and if you're new to the channel, I hope you subscribe and hit the notification bell and join me on the next video. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this. Have a blessed Monday and I will chat with you all later. Bye-bye.